Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use the new Google Sites, or really we'll just call it Google Sites because eventually the old ones are going away and this is what we'll have moving forward. Um, it's super easy to use. Everybody can be a web designer nowadays. Uh, so let's check it out. So here I'm at my Google homepage, uh, the new tab page, whatever you want to be. But I can get to the new sites a couple different ways. I can click on my waffle and come down to sites. And if I do that, it's going to take me to the classic sites. And so I just have to go over here to below the create button and click on the new Google sites and it will take me there. Or perhaps even a better way of doing it is to go into your Google Drive and click on the new more and go down to sites and that will take you directly to new Google sites. Also, the third way is to go to sites.google.com slash new and that will take you to the new Google site. So there's multiple ways to get to the new Google sites and if you ever wanted to, you can always click back to classic sites if you're still working with a classic site you've made or you want to play with classic sites or whatever. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on the new sites. So here is our new Google site that we created and it is untitled so I can either enter a site name right here or I can come up here and type it up here. So I'll just do this as a test site or better yet, let's do a portfolio site. And so once I click off, then the names appear and the names on the site. So we'll title our page and this is very cookie cutter stuff. So it gives me this your page title so I click there and now I can type so I'm gonna call it Stuart's portfolio and so in this I can change the way the header looks I can make it a heading which makes it a little smaller I can do normal text which makes it even smaller I'll leave it as a title and I could also make this a link so if I wanted this to link to something else I can actually click the link button insert a link and then this would be in a hyperlink to something else. Um, I don't want to do that though. And if I don't like it, I can always delete it. I can change the alignment. Uh, so there's some basic stuff that I can do to edit the way my header looks. Um, also, I can actually change the image. So if we go to select an image, we can we have a gallery, and that's the pre-done gallery by Google. Uh, if we know the URL, we can search for pictures, we can go to my albums, or we can go to my Google Drive. Um, this one looks kind of nice, so I'm going to use that one, and we'll select, and so it changes. Now, if you notice over here, it's saying it's adjusting for readability, because I have white text, and it was a kind of dark to light. It was going to make it harder to read, so it, Google's algorithm, adjusted the picture behind it and changed my text from white to black. So I can always turn that back off if I want to and it changes the image back or I can turn it back on and it lightens up the image automatically so it makes it it's just readability um, I really like the fact that Google has that kind of artificial intelligence looking out for us uh, as we build these things um, I can also change the header type I can make it a banner uh, I can make it only a title uh, make it a really big banner if I had a lot of words um, or I can make an entire cover. So if you wanted just a page of your title and then other pages uh, after that, you could do that too. I'm just going to leave it a banner though for now. And we're good with that one. So and if we wanted to start over, we could always reset it. So I'm, I'm happy with the way this looks. And so now it's time to add content. So you have this big blank canvas down here. And you have several options over on the right so it defaults to showing you the insert so I can insert a text box an image I can insert anything from my Google Drive uh, I can embed URL code so if you go to YouTube you can you can pull a URL for a video so that video actually plays right there on your web page without having somebody to click a link go to the video that kind of thing um, I can change the layout to an extent but then also I can add a button dividers I can add directly from YouTube. Uh, I can add a calendar, which is very cool. Uh, I can add a map, Google Docs, slides, charts, all this kind of stuff. This is all stuff that I can 
insert into my document, into my new Google site, and it'll it'll display properly. Google Sites knows how to deal with that uh, thing coming in, and so um, it's very handy to know where and what all you can do. Now, an easy, super fast way of doing this is just to double click in the blank space, and then I get this quick menu option. So if I want to insert a text box, I just do that. If I want to insert another one, I can do that. So now I've got two text boxes. Well, that's one too many for right now, so I can just delete it. Uh, so we'll just look at this text box real quick. So if I type in just some words, I can do a lot of stuff with this. It can be normal text, it can be a title, um, we can do a subheading. You know, those are preset for us. We can center this if we wanted to. And I'm going to make it big when it's centered. Uh, we can link this just like we could any other text in this Google site. And then if I don't like it, I can always delete it. I can also change the size of the text box. So it's going to stay centered since we have it centered inside the text box. So it's not going to center the page, it's going to center the text box. So I can make the text box however big I want. And then if I don't want it on the right, I can actually move it over to the left, to there. So it, it's kind of very click and drag easy. Uh, I can also oops, insert an image. So let's just pick an image. Uh, there we go. Bitmoji of myself. And so since I did it in this section, I right clicked or double clicked in this section, I'm adding stuff to this section. So I'm going to make my Bitmoji show up. There we go. Almost a little bit bigger. There it is. So there's, there's my image. I can move it around, put it where I want. I can move it below hello. And now you can see that makes it kind of a, a joined thing. I can pull it out from there. Um, so you just kind of play around with it. You can put things where you want them to an extent. And then if you don't like it, you can always delete it. You can always crop it too. So if it's a larger image and you only want a piece of it, you can crop it down with the crop. Um, you can always uncrop it afterwards. You can also link an image. So you could have a series of pictures and those link to different things. Um, I can replace the image. I can add alt text and that's for uh, visually impaired people. It gives them text instead of an image um, with the screen readers. And I can also add a caption below my image. Um, and so that's that. So I can also now, now that I've got content in here, uh, I wanna jazz it up. I wanna make it look good. So I can click on the little palette button next to the section and I can leave it, it's just regular right now, I can make an emphasis which changes the color slightly and it keeps the colors in sync with your header picture and so all the colors kind of match and kind of flow. Um, I can make an emphasis which changes the color or I can just make it an image. And so I'll just go back to the gallery and we'll pick this one, it's a pretty plain image. So we'll click that. It's going to adjust the readability also because this is a very light background and I'm using white text. And so, again, it changed my text color for me and it lightened the background. Um, these two patterns do not go well together. I didn't think this through. Just saying. Uh, I can always turn that off if I want. It changes the darkness back. I can turn it back on. Um, you can also use animated GIFs for these pictures. Um, I don't have any right now to, to show you, but if you found an animation that you thought would be great for a background picture, uh, it will work and it will display in motion uh, as well. So I can make another, let's just do something for my Google Drive. So I'm going to add something for my Google Drive and it brings in the document. And I can make the document bigger, I can make the document smaller, but then what I can also do is if I don't like the order of the sections that I have on the page, if I click this little multi-dotted thing, whatever you call it over here, I can click and drag these sections around. 
And so by clicking and dragging until you see the blue line that shows up right there, that kind of helps tell me where things are going to go once I let go of the click. So we've added text, we've changed background colors, we've added images, we've added stuff from our Google Drive. Uh, we can embed things. Uh, you, you, if you know how to what an embed code is, you probably are okay with that. Uh, we can upload anything we want. So if we have pictures or PDFs or anything, we can we can upload it and it brings it in. And so then we can resize that. And you just got to be careful because it will crop down a little bit depending on the size. It won't automatically do aspect ratios for you. You got to kind of have to pay attention to that yourself. Um, but then, like I said, you can also crop or uncrop as well. And so if you kind of get your web page where you want it and you want to see what it looks like, the eyeball up here, just like in Google Forms, gives you a preview. And so we can come in here and look and I see this and it looks pretty good. Now this is really cool. What it'll do is it'll give you, this is what it looks like on a computer. This is what it looks like on a tablet, and this is what it looks like on somebody's phone. And so you can see if you know where your the people that are going to be looking at your site are mostly, if they're going to be on a tablet, on a phone, or on a computer, uh, Chromebook would be the same as a computer. You can actually look and see if your site's going to look the way you want it to look. And when you're done with this, you just click Exit Preview, and we're back out to our thing, our page. Now, the only thing I haven't shown you yet is the themes. You can come in here, and if you wanted... Uh, to completely change the look of the site, we can do that. Um, we can change the colors, we can change the, the fonts. Uh, it's very simplistic, so you can't custom your fonts unless you find a great theme that you like that does have the custom fonts. You can custom your colors and you can custom a lot, just not everything necessarily that you want to do. Uh, so anyway, um, those are themes. Play around with those. And now pages. So we want more than one page for our website or else it's just a web page. We want a website. So I'm going to add some pages. I can add a new page or I can add a link. So if I want to link directly to somebody else's web page or, or IXL or, or Google Classroom or something like that, I can I can click on new link, give it a name, and then give it the link, open in a new tab, done. Now, when I preview, you go back to here. If I click on that, it's going to open up my link. So it takes me to CNN because that was the link I, I picked. So now I'm going to close out of this. What you probably want to do is add a new page. So if you click on new page, give it a name. So this would be, let's just call it blog. So I can give it a custom path or I can just leave it as it is. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And so it adds a new page right here. So I've got my link that I just created. I've got my new page and it gives it the name of the page. So if I change this. You notice it doesn't change the name of the page. So it's just a suggestion what you want on your header for your page. Now, I can create the exact same things on this page. So if you're doing a portfolio or having students do an e-portfolio, you know, you can have them create the pages and then add the content and especially include things from their Google Drive. Um, work examples and, and put a work example up and then do a reflection of that work example would be a great way of doing things. Um, Anyway, this is a quick tour of the new Google Sites. I hope it helps. Uh, until next time, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos of this sort, uh, give me a subscription down there. Make the red subscribe button turn gray. And uh, I will talk to you next time.